So I thought I knew anatomy, but it wasn't until I started to incorporate sonography into my regular practice that I realized I didn't know what I didn't know. And now I can see in the moment, the depth of the anatomy that I was missing. I'm James Escaloni, physical therapist. I'm residency and fellowship trained in orthopedics, as well as a registered musculoskeletal sonography specialist. And I have been practicing in outpatient physical therapy for a long time. I've been teaching for more than a decade uh, for a variety of ways, and just especially with differential diagnosis and in the past few years, sonography, as well as dry needling. And more recently in the past year, ultrasound guided dry needling. And that's been a lot of fun to be able to do. And I use that quite a bit in my practice, in which we try to figure out where is the source of pain for a lot of chronic pains. When somebody is getting any sort of pain that's been sticking around for a while, uh, my physical exam is good at figuring out where there's a general area of a problem, but it's not specific enough to say what part of that joint is the problem. Then you start to employ musculoskeletal sonography that's going to be able to be the specificity that's missing with my clinical exam, or most people's clinical exams, really. Oftentimes, when you're trying to find out the specific cause of a pain, MRI is utilized, or x-rays, and that can be helpful in some cases. But the benefit of ultrasound is that you can actually have the person who you just tested, they're right there in front of you. You've just poked them on that spot and they say, that is the pain, that's the spot. You can actually have the person move, twist, bend. You can actually put a needle into that spot to determine if it's reproducing the familiar symptoms. So that way you can know for certain their chronic pain has not been all in their head. It's just been misdiagnosed. The diagnostic ultrasound is the way that you get these people better. I was first introduced to Clarius when I was taking some of my initial courses on understanding musculoskeletal uh, sonography. When I'd have these classes, there'd be large classes with a bunch of different disciplines in the room. And when people were scanning, some people actually pulled out of their pocket or their backpack this little handheld Clarius unit and hooked it up to their phone. And of course, I'm drawn to that because my only thought about any sort of ultrasound unit was this large unit that was stacked against a room that you couldn't move. And here they are looking at somebody's elbow, trying to go along with the lecture, and I'm honestly quite jealous <laughs> because they've got to be able to do that. They took it on a plane, there was no problems. They're skinning themselves, they're showing their other friends this at the same time. It was uh, pretty nice after seeing that, seeing the image, and then fortunately for the organization I teach with, we have a budget in which I was able to get one for myself. I enjoy it and use it quite a bit. I've used a variety of handheld systems. Clarius does, especially after I uh, bothered to learn some of the knobology with it and figuring out how all those buttons work. Because at first I would just put it on and it would have a great image without me having to do anything. But then when I figured out how to play with the game and look at the different modes on there, I'm like, wow, this is a pretty darn good image right here. The way that you can actually see that image on some of those superficial tissues especially is comparable to a lot of the very expensive systems. I'd absolutely recommend Clarius to new students who are trying to figure out how to scan people because it's got a good price, good image, and especially with a lot of the new features, it's going to be helpful for them to be able to use it quite easily with their phones, in a busy clinic, in a small cash practice, any of the above. Once they start getting used to it, it's going to be hard to not use it on a regular basis.